Hi there, my name is Meryl and I'm a Principal Product Manager in the Microsoft Entra Custom Acceleration Team. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm making this video to give you a quick walkthrough of what you can expect in this channel and uh, some of the apps and tools that I've built over time. Um, so in my day job, I help some of Microsoft's large enterprise customers deploy Microsoft Entra successfully. And I also work and collaborate with engineering and product teams on building new Microsoft Entra features. Now, in my free time, I also do a few things. Uh, one of which is I run a weekly newsletter called Entra.News. If you browse over to Entra.News, you can find this and subscribe. Uh, you'll see that uh, what we cover there every week is new updates. Say whenever there's a new version of Entra Connect that drops, we highlight those. Um, any new GA features, public preview features that dropped in. Um, and the biggest part of this is also the community. So I share lots of links to any community articles that were published that week on Microsoft Entra. And I also give a summary of any new content that I publish um, in social media. So that's uh, Entra.news. Next, we have Entra Exporter. Uh, this was part of another hackathon I worked with uh, with a few colleagues. What you can do with that is it's a PowerShell module that lets you export your Entra configuration out um, into JSON files. Um, so all you need to do is say connect Entra exporter. It uses Graph PowerShell underneath and you run the backup. You can select what type of things you need, want to backup and it would export all of that as JSON files. I've also built ID Power Toys at idpowertoys.com. There are two things here. The first one is a mind map. So you can um, click through and see a mind map which gives you a high level overview of what Entra is all about. And uh, we then drill down into Microsoft Entra ID as well right now. Um, because there are so many products and services in Microsoft Entra, it's easy to get lost. This mind map helps give you a sort of a visual view of that. Um, then we also drill down into Entra ID and all of the different capabilities in Entra ID. Another big part of ID Power Toys is the conditional access documenter capability. So you sign into your tenant. I've signed into one of my demo tenants now, and um, you can generate a presentation, a PowerPoint deck, which uh, is a visual view of the conditional access policies in your tenant. Now, once that's completed, you can open the file. And this is the generated deck. Uh, what it does is, is it gives you uh, a visual view of the different policies. It says who, uh, what's in the first policy is US Compliance 1, where I have a policy for Grady, and it's allowing him to access all applications as long as he's on a compliant or hybrid joint device. So there are, um, it basically documents this if you scroll through you can see each different CA policy and what it's all about, um, which is a, is a much neater way to visually view what the policy is about. So the next app that I've collaborated and built as part of a hackathon is Graph X-Ray. Uh, it's a Chrome extension which lets you see what's happening behind the scenes in the different Microsoft portals. So let me give you a quick demo. So if I head over to the Entra portal, um, I select Dev Tools, and if I s then switch over to the Graph X-Ray tab, once you install the extension, you get this view. Now, every action that I do in the portal, say I click on this user, you can see the different Graph API calls that are being made, and you can select the language as well. So whether it's PowerShop, PowerShell. C sharp, you can pick the language that you want and you get to see what happens behind the scenes. Uh, so maybe I come in here and uh, let me clear this to give you a quick view. So say let me change, say Adele Vance, uh, just make a small change to the name and I hit save and you can see how this calls into get MG user, then I do an update MG user and make those changes into the for that particular user. So you can really quickly go from doing some action in the UI to knowing what the command is that was used to run and um, you can even see some of the parameters that are being passed in and then build your own scripts out of that. 
So it's very useful uh, when you're working in, in the Entra portal, in the Intune portal. As long as that portal is using Microsoft Graph, you will be able to see this output. Perfect. The next um, tool that I have built is just a website called Graph Permissions uh, at graphpermissions.mail.net. What you see there is it lists all of the different graph permissions. And if you head over to one of the permissions, you can see what, uh, what are the APIs that are available in that. So if I go to directory.read.all, you can see what are the different APIs that someone has access to when they have this app permission consented. So it's just a helper page that basically brings a lot of things into one view and you can scroll down, down and see what are the different objects that are accessible as part of that particular permission. Right, so those are a lot of the intro and the graph PowerShell capabilities. Uh, let's head over to some of the other things that I've built. Um, one popular one which you might or might not know is a cmd.ms. Now this is uh, something I built because it was really hard to click through different blades in the Azure portal or the Entra portal um, or Intune to go into a particular page. Now what I do here is I built various commands that you just type in and you get taken to that particular page directly. So let's say if I want to go to az vm.cmd.ms what that will do is it will take me to the Azure VM blade without having to click through on different things so um, whether you are an Azure person or an Entra or an Intune or from Microsoft Security you can use these various commandlets and get to the different blades that you want right so I can uh, one that I use all the time is if I want to go to Entra users I do that and I'm straight away taken into the Entra users blade to you know uh, filter users, make changes without having to click multiple times. Um, if you want to get in tune, you can say in.cmd.ms, and you'll be taken there as well. So that's um, that's all cmd.ms, right? If you don't know any the commands, just go to cmd.ms. There's also a browser extension that you can install. Uh, where you can just see uh, what's happening over there. So if you want to select a page, you just say Sentinel, and you can see what all these different commands are. So we have like Defender, the various commands. For Entra, you can select through and um, click through and see what they are. Uh, there are common pages for PIM, Blades, and, and so on. Right, and finally, uh, one other thing I would highlight is aka.search.net, uh, which lets you search aka.ms links. You can also contribute your own links uh, here. There are many folks that have contributed here over time. There are like over a thousand plus links here, and if you or if you need to just search for them, just come in here, search for the links, say SSPR. You can see what the different URLs are related to that. Cool. Awesome. I hope you found this useful. Just a quick intro to myself and the different things I've built. Uh, in this channel, I hope to share a lot more about Microsoft Entra, the various different um, capabilities and highlight them. Uh, so feel free to subscribe. Remember to hit subscribe and like this video. Until next time. Cheers.